This is another quick example of the new scale body in ST10. Um, basically, I just have a, a general shape here. Uh, one thing I do is, is I just created a box and several rounds, protrusions, cutouts, and even a hole. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and run the scale body, which you'll find uh, in the pull down menu called scale body. And the first thing it's going to do is ask you to select a body if it's not already selected. So we'll go ahead and select this shape that we have. And at this point, you have an option to, um, to define how you want to scale it through these options. Now, whether you want to do uniform, then you can key in a scale factor. If you do non-uniform, it's going to give you options for scaling in different, uh, different axis, X, Y, and Z axis. Now in this case, we'll just stick with the uniform scaling. And then the second option that you have available to you, if you look down here, is that you can pick a different point. Uh, currently, the active point is the front corner where the coordinate system is. And so if I come to this back corner, you'll notice that it changes that yellow dot to the back corner. Uh, or I can pick up, you know, I could pick up center points if I want to pick up a center point. Or the top, or the top corner. So, however you want to do it, it's available to you. Now, if we come over to the scale and I key in 0.5, it's obviously going to scale it in half. It's going to leave the original in highlight color. You see the green um, wireframe, and of course, if I go to say two, we're going to uh, double the size. It still leaves the the original in the in the uh, highlight green uh, wireframe color. So it kind of shows you where you're going with the new uh, scale. Now at this point I'm ready to go ahead and accept the scale. So I right click to accept and it does tell me that it have some procedural features such as this hole. Uh, it's going to convert it to face sets. So we'll go ahead and click yes. And so now I've scaled up my uh, body but uh, I have a face set here for a hole. Well, that's easy to correct. We can come over to the holes, recognize any holes in the bot in the uh, in the model. In this case, we know it's a 20 millimeter. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and it converts that back to a hole for us. Now, if that was a hole pattern, we could run recognize hole pattern and do the same thing. So scale body in ST10. I think you'll find this uh, a very nice tool to use. Uh, Thank you.